Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just messing around with uh, some stuff out here in the man shed. Uh, decided to bring you guys along. What we're doing is we're playing around with the Sinclair uh, ZX81. And I've actually got it powered up. And amazingly enough, it works, but weirdly just barely. Now you see that there? That is the input for it. So we can put one, zero, print, shift, quote, H, E, L, L, O, shift, quote, and like, Really hope I got that right. Enter two zero. You know the cool thing is, is that if you see all the the little codes that are around it, like for instance, we're gonna go G, and that should be go to. So there's go to, and I put one too many. So of course we gotta delete. Crap. So shift delete is delete. Go to. One, zero, okay, you hit enter, so we've got our, hang on, we've got uh, 10, print hello, in theory, uh, 20, go to 10, and now we're going to find run, 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 we're going to hit enter, and just like back on the Commodore, so I screwed it up. I don't remember how to program basic. Okay, so whatever. I, I messed something up, but it does work. Uh, I need to figure out what's wrong with the... Because from everything I've seen, this is supposed to be a white screen, not a black screen. But it works. And really cool. So, that's the uh, ZX81 or ZX81 Sinclair. Really cool that I found this. Uh, Steve Benley is the only other person I know that has one, because I've never heard of it before. And uh, a few of you have uh, kind of expressed interest in it. So tell me what you want to trade for it, because I... really, man, it's really cool. But aside from being a prop out here, I don't have a use for it. So, uh, let me know. As always, this is uh, Jack Lair. Play on!